right, take your seat. She is our lovely Mash. Oh, oh, oh right here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> very delicate costumes here, very elaborate. I'm gonna give you your mic. Here you go. And next up, we have Altria herself. It's Lisa Luhu. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our cosplayers are trying to sit down as best they can. All right. Now, some of you guys, uh, I think some of you guys have summoned her over the past week. Uh, I haven't. I'm very jealous. I have. We have, oh, you have? I'm jealous of you. We have the Bindi Smalls as our ruler. Yeah, we work with these cosplayers to get these guys to you at Anime Expo and work with them to create their, their costumes. And as you can see, they've worked very hard on their costumes for you guys, just for the launch of Fake Grand Order. So I want to give them one round of applause just to show how welcome they are. <laughs> Alright guys, are we all seated? Are we strapped in? Alright guys, well thank you guys so much for working with us to create these costumes from Fate Grand Order. And thank you guys so much for coming up to Anime Expo so we can meet all of our fans. Taught me how to sew. So my first costume I made was, it was probably seven. Oh wow! Yeah, I learned how to oh, sew so like at like five. Oh, wow! Yeah, it was like slave labor, but not really. But um, <laughs> yeah, so it was really, we didn't, I mean it wasn't called cosplay. It was just like, I'll make you this costume. And, you know, it was uh, from G.I. Joe. Um, I always liked the guy characters. <laughs> so I did a guy, you know, a snake eyes. So when I was like, I think I was six years old. Oh, so yeah, it wasn't accurate or anything. But I think we could give six-year-old Vampy a pass. I'm sure six-year-old Vampy was very cute anyway. I have pictures, anyway. it doesn't look good, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I'll have to get back to you for those pictures. But all right, Lisa? I started out as like a dancer and then I got into theater, so both of them incorporated costumes. I realized that I was really, really getting into dance and theater, not for the actual performance, but because I really liked wearing costumes. So I got into the costume, like the, the costume design area of those categories in high school. Um, and it just became kind of a thing that I just started sewing for people and then it started becoming sewing for myself. I got into geek dumb when I was in college and they're like, you see you sew and you're a geek, why don't you do this cosplay thing? And like when I have money, I will. So I started a few years ago. Yeah. Well, awesome. And I think uh, judging by the recent awards that you've won, I, uh, <laughs> I did a thing. Yeah. Didn't you? Uh, didn't you just win something? Yeah. I was just on um, Cosplay Melee on Sci-Fi. I'm on episode three, uh, and I won the challenge. Well, congratulations. I hot toyed it all together, but hey, whatever works, right? <laughs> it's okay. We win. Into cosplay in a really weird and normal way. I started making my own Halloween costumes. And every year I'd make more and more elaborate costumes and I hated having to wait an entire year to be able to do this thing that I really loved. And uh, I started incorporating more of the things that I liked to make costumes for, like video games and things like that. So like my first cosplay was Chun-Li from Street Fighter and I made it just for Halloween. And I had worn it to like every single Halloween party I could go to. And then I realized, I was like, okay, this is obviously something I love to do. So I should look into this more, and that's kind of how I started researching where to go and events to attend and things like that. Awesome! Well, we're glad that you brought your uh, your costume talents to the rest of the year. <laughs> All other 364 days of the year, appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So next question is something that I was curious about. But what was the most fun part of making your costumes for this? Um, I think for me, I always try to um, either kind of level up in every, I think all of us do. Um, Max with, those skill points? Yeah, so pretty much um, sizing is probably the hardest thing for me. Um, making things proportionate and also fitting well. Um, so it's, it has to be a little bit uncomfortable, but you know, it, it makes everything look, look, look a, little, a lot better actually. So probably the sizing. And uh, did, you, did you say the most fun or? Yeah, the most fun. <laughs> what is fun? <laughs> like, to be quite honest with you, I, um, the most fun, let's see, putting it on and having it fit, yeah, that's probably the most fun afterwards. Well, does it take a while to get in the costume? Yeah, um, 10 minutes. 
it's 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... I think it take longer to get ready in the morning, like when I'm not cosplaying, so that's impressive. Yeah, about 10, 10 minutes to get the armor on, but makeup and everything, maybe 20 minutes, so... Oh, oh man, you're, yeah. you're a pro now. <laughs> All right, Lisa, what was the most fun part about making Saber? Um, I mean, the physical making of Saber was this cape. This cape is so much fun, and I just want to twirl in it all the time. It's actually a little extra. I didn't even need to make the cape, and I'm like, I'm going to make a cape because capes are life. Um, but I think also what was very fun and almost like the fun and challenging for this is uh, creating such an iconic character that so many people have already, I feel, perfected in their creation and feeling like I have this like standard, but it's, you know, that's fun. That's fun to create a character that people love and be and make into real life. So I don't know, I was just like, when I got this, I was just really, really excited to bring it to life in the way that it was envisioned. So. All right, well, thank you. And so, Bindi, what was the most uh, fun part about making Ruler? The most fun part, so I, I make a lot of my armor with uh, 3D printers. I do a lot of 3D printing. And I spent a lot of time designing the 3D models and then send them to the printer. And the most fun part of that entire process, it's something I absolutely love, is when the print finishes and you take it off the bed and see if it fits. And that's like the moment you know that it's gonna work. And that's like the best feeling. Oh wow, so also like sizing, like with Vampy. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I like we'll see. But yes, that's, that's my um, I actually have partially done as well. I was going to have it for this convention, but just didn't finish it. Is um, Takamaki from Persona 5 for Panther outfit, which is all stretch PVC and it's a nightmare to work with and it zippers. And I'm like, why am I doing this? But I love her so much. Yeah, we'll have to get photos since we have Persona 5 the animation. Oh, yeah! Oh, cool. Yeah, I think we have some Persona 5s here. I was like, what? A Bambi? Um, so I'm working on a Warhammer costume. Um, I've been wanting to do Warhammer for about eight years, um, and I'm working on, yeah, so like that's my next costume, so no more armor. Yes, oh, I, yeah, really I love awesome. it. Sisters of Battle. Oh, awesome. Um, so I used to uh, paint the model kits and everything. Um, I, I, lo I love doing models in general, but um, I have the whole set, and I was like, I will, be, I will make this costume someday. Would you say painting models helped with uh, any cosplay? Uh, um, not this one, but uh, I just think that like in general, like yeah, it does. Because um, I do a lot of Gundam kits, and they teach you how to do lining and panel lining and all that stuff. So you, everything you do is fairly clean. Um, since I'm very new to foam, um, I'm still learning quite a bit. But um, to get a really good finish is what Bindi says, sanding forever. <laughs> you just wake up to sanding. Filling, sounding, fill. So, yeah. Perfect. All right, and what was your next question? Um, it's for John uh, about the armor thing. It was very form fitting. Um, I know you have amazing communities you could ever be a part of. We all just want to see each other be happy. Yeah. Like, it really is the case. We're just a bunch of geeks dressing up in costume, for real. Not so. to mention we like fangirl over each other's costumes yes. all the time. So, I want to see like my friends do the best version of what they can do. So, like, if there's anything I can do to help them, I'll do that. Yeah. Yes, oh definitely. And like these girls, they challenge me to be better at armor and like just we sit there and back talk ideas and just figure everything out together. So it's great, definitely. What they said. Because uh, yeah, pretty much like I think that if anyone has an issue with their costume during the day, we just jump at them and say, what do you need? And we always have like in the back over there, I we all have like our own kits. So if we don't bring something, someone else has it. Yeah. And they're more than willing to help because Cosplay is not easy, <laughs> so like we understand the pain, so we all want to help each other. Well, on that note, what kind of uh, items would you put in that kind of cosplay uh, emergency kit? Is it mostly just sewing things, or is it maybe is it even like hot glue? Yes. I mean, even today I have uh, super glue and eyelash glue because I actually glue the wig to my face so it looks more realistic. Um, so I have eyelash glue and then I just have super glue. It's just easy peasy, it fits in my purse really quick, works with everything. I, uh, I bring a little tube of JB Weld. So JB Weld is a two-part epoxy uh, that also has uh, steel, steel bits in it that reinforce it. It's extremely strong. And for like hard plastic costume pieces, JB Weld is like the best emergency fixer. So I, I constantly bring like a kit of adhesives with me just in case something breaks, right? So I have to glue it back together. Or yeah, like uh, hairsprays, uh, needle and thread almost always just in case something rips, things like that. All right, perfect. And did you have anything to add on that? Uh, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> perfect.